So just finished an epic run to town. So basically I'm trying to get some lights for this place uh, just to be able to control the light that's coming in. But here, every single light place that I've been to in town, the lights are like 200,000 shillings each. Um, so that's obviously way beyond my budget because I need to get like three lights. And so as I was walking through the streets, I realized I could actually make my own lights. Right. But we'll make it work. So, over the last couple of days, I've been really struggling with this whole lighting situation. I've been trying to figure out how to make something work and I've you know been running around town um, looking for a specific set of LED lights um, because I was trying to create this sort of ring light system and um, I am glad that today I actually found what I was looking for and what we're going to do today right now hopefully within the next um, one and a half hours or the next two hours before the sunlight goes down is to set up a ring light system um, basing out of LEDs, some paper foil, um, some cardboard, some wire, and hopefully to work. Foil. This foil. It's going to be the reflective stuff, but will be designed to send the light back towards us. Lots of wire. This is this is way more wire than I need. But this whole roll was about thirty thousand shillings. And um, it just made more sense than buying, you know, one meter at 1,500. So I will only compute the cost for the mid material that I need, and I'll let you know how much that costs in total. But this was a pretty good deal. I probably ended up buying a meter at like 500 shillings or something. Some wire. This is actually like iron wire, so we can stretch it out and fold it, and we'll use this to form the shape. These are the LEDs connect these and you get light so this is what we'll be using as the main source of light they are super bright this roll cost about 60,000 shillings um, so let's see if it's worth the purchase but so far I had a look at it in the shop it looks pretty good they are I don't know I don't know how many LEDs there are here I'll roll this aside light it up and then you can see what I'm talking about so let's assemble So these LEDs, as you'll see them, they have individual strips of light. You can see like that, right? So each of these is a light. And so what we're going to do is to power up these and they require 12 volts. So we use this power adapter and then just connect that. Yeah, the inside of this is positive, the outside is negative. So we'll have that. And then, I don't know if you're seeing this. See that? Excellent. So what I'm going to do is use this old cardboard to just cut out the shape of the light that I need. I want this to be about 10 inches of diameter. Actually, let's make it about nine and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is use this string at one end. I'm just going to tie one end. And then I'll be able to draw the shape. So now between these two is 9.5 inches. 
what I decided to do basically here was just to use this uh, very rudimentary way of drawing circles where you use a string and a pen and a, a, a pivot at one point and then by stretching it out you're able to draw a circle whose radius is the length of the string that you've tied. A very old method that I learned all the way back in primary school. So I had to do some cutting with a cutter. Um, you can use a knife or a pair of scissors um, but I find that the cutter is the most convenient. That's the ring. And so once that first shape was done, what I basically did, did was to get another piece of cardboard and trace out the outline. So there is no need to be precise, right? Um, this ring light is never going to be seen by anyone else except you. Um, and then I got aluminium foil and basically just wrapped it uh, tight around the first piece of cardboard which basically forms the reflective layer. So the lights are going to sit on top of that, on top of that reflective layer and bounce back all the light. And then put the second piece of cardboard on top. And then I used the wire. I basically created a circular shape and tied it up. I unfortunately skipped the recording of that part um, but I created a circular shape and um, so now the wire is supporting the frame um, so I push a nail through and then used other pieces of softer wire to basically tie the two pieces of cardboard together to the, the support wire the support metal wire um, you can use um, ties you can use thread whatever it is anything that's conveniently able to hold these things together for the long term and so that's what it looks like when it's finished um, the foil is facing one direction and this the the frame is basically very sturdy and so now the back of the led strips has a sort of sticky side to it so once you peel off that protective layer you will be able to um, sort of stick the the strips. The trick here now is to be very careful because they're not very flexible. The strip itself is not very flexible, and so you'll have you'll have a bit of a hard time uh, because it's not designed to be bent like that. So it will not look perfect, but as long as it sticks um, relatively well enough, it will do the job. Um, so just keep rotating it and sort of forcing it into the circular pattern as you go inwards into the center of the circle. And then this is what they call a barrel jack, which is basically what you need to connect your power adapter to the LEDs. And so I soldered mine. Remember that the center piece is the positive side. So the red wire needs to go to the center. Um, so when you're soldering it, it will be easy. So you, if you don't have a soldering iron, you can just simply twist the wires around, but then you have to protect it with electrical tape to make sure that nothing uh, gets loose. So this is just me doing rudimentary soldering. Um, I was too lazy to pull out the rest of my tools. So this is just a soldering iron with the pliers so holding the barrel jack. Now, for the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Desire. Right? So, this is a ring light. Awesome, isn't it? So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. It was really cheap. The advantage that, that I have is that I have the technical skills to actually solder stuff, but this is actually a relatively easy um, project to make. The only complex thing for anyone might be the part where you have to solder the connector, but otherwise, it's a very, very simple project to make. Um, so yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and see you next time. Bye.